If you are a teacher and you have asked your students to take a photograph of work, this could be a worksheet that you had them um, download, print out, and then write on, or it could be um, maybe they're doing some artwork and they take a picture of it and then they upload it to their Google Drive and they find that um, if the, you are asking them to put it on a, um, a Google document or into some sort of a, a Google assignment, it might not be showing up there. On your end, if they upload those photos into Canvas, you might not be able to see them. If they're shooting on an iPhone, iPhone 8 and later has a file format called HEIC. It's a high efficiency format that allows you to store more photographs on your phone, but it does not, um, it's not compatible with most other programs. So it's a little frustrating when you try to use those photos anywhere else. To change that, you can have your students, ask them, it's not gonna hurt their phones or anything, um, to open up the settings on their phone. In fact, this is how all photos used to be taken. Um, and go down to your camera, it's in with the music and everything else down here, and click camera and then formats and you want them to, if it's set to high efficiency, you want them to choose most compatible. That will force the phone to shoot in JPEG, which is a file format that relates to everything. Um, if they have already taken photographs of some things and they're trying to upload them, you can have them open up that picture and take a screenshot of it. And then they can upload that screenshot back into their Google Drive um, that will be a PNG file then, but that's still a file format that will work um, uh, as you upload it into Google Drive. Likewise, you can also have them go to um, hecktojpeg.com. It's a website uh, that will allow you to just take your HEIC photos and drag them in there. If a student already has downloaded something to you in Canvas, you can download that file and then open up this website and drag the file in there and it will create a JPEG for you so you can at least view that assignment. Um, but that's a nice workaround is to just have the students turn that feature off on their phones to begin with.